Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane, if you're new here. Um, so today I'm doing a try-on clothing haul of some stuff that I picked up for the springtime. I haven't finished my spring shopping, but I thought I would just show you guys some stuff that I got so far. Some stuff I got like literally a couple of days ago and some stuff I got literally months ago. So I'm just gonna be doing like a big collective haul, showing you guys everything. Um, This shirt looks really, really big and it's because it is. I think it's like an XL. Or no, this might be a large. But this is the first thing that I want to show you guys. And it actually is this Tupac t-shirt from Urban Outfitters. I went to Urban Outfitters in Georgetown, D.C. a couple of days ago. I'm going to come a little closer so y'all can see. It just has Tupac right here, his name, and my favorite part, which is the back. It says, Me Against the World. Um, Yeah, so... When I seen this, I had to get it because it just looked cute and it's my vibe. I love streetwear and casual stuff, so I just had to get it. I think it was about $40. I'm going to put all the links to everything that I got down below. So if I don't say where it's from or like the price, size, whatever, that'll all be down below. So you guys can click the links and go straight to the site. I'm trying to figure out how I want to like tuck this. Let me tuck this because I don't want this to be all looking like a dress the whole video. Kith recently did a collab with Aaliyah and I'm a big Aaliyah fan so once I seen and a Kith fan so once I seen they were collabing I had to um get some shirts so this is the first shirt that I got and it has Aaliyah's face right here and it says let me know which is you know a song lyric in one of her songs it has that in all different colors and then my favorite part which is on the back so it's, uh, it's Aaliyah um so it has that and then it has Kith under it. Um, so yeah, this is like my favorite part actually of the shirt. And I got this in a size medium and this shirt was $80. So a little bit expensive, but I had to support it because I know Kith stuff sells out and it's exclusive. And you really can't get this shirt after they drop it. This Aaliyah shirt is one of my favorites. So like they released hoodies, t-shirts, um, and like I think a long sleeve shirt as well but i only got two because like i said they were 80 dollars and i could not spend that much on just t-shirts these two were already expensive so i just I had to stop at two yeah so i like this one it just has her face again kith right here at the bottom of the shirt it has her signature i don't know i just i don't really own like powder blue shirts and i thought like if i'm spending 80 dollars on something let me get something that i really don't have and i, I really don't own this color in like anything was donating all the money that they earned from this release to the high school that Aaliyah went to. So she went to a performing arts high school in Detroit. So they donated some of the money to those girls at the school. What else? And they also donated to a nonprofit organization. This release came out on National Women's Day. So Kith was all about, you know, supporting a black woman. They supported Aaliyah, one of my favorite singers. And yeah. Had a support, had a support. The next t-shirt that I got is also an Urban Outfitters t-shirt, but it's this t-shirt right here and it is the Yankees logo. And it has like this little design around it. I'm planning a fit for this. I got this, I don't know when I got this, but I didn't wear it because I wanted to get a hat to match this. So I got it in a size medium. This was $32. Excuse the fact that some of these shirts look wrinkly, but yeah, so I got this Nike shirt. I got it in a size medium. I believe it was about $30. Um, but I just got it because you can't go wrong with the basic white t-shirt. Like, honestly, like this goes with anything. And I just love, you know, I love basic stuff. I don't really like to do too much when I do dress. Um, I kind of like to keep it simple for the most part. Um, I might have like some things that's like different. I might make the outfit pop. And yeah, I just like how Nike put the check in the middle. I don't know if they recently started doing this, but I've been seeing like the check in like different places on their clothes and I've been liking it because it's just different. I don't know. I like it right here in the middle or at the at the top. I'm gonna run through these pretty quickly. I got this her t-shirt. I got this from Target. Yeah, I don't know how much this was. My mom actually got this for me, but this was at Target. This is in a size large. Thought it was cute. Again, I'm a big fan of graphic tees and just t-shirts in general because they're easy to throw on and they're comfortable. This is an essential shirt that I got. But yeah, it's just a plain essential shirt. Um, it has the essentials logo right here and it has this on the back. All right, but if y'all are ordering from essentials, do not get... They run really, really big. So like this medium is like a large. So I honestly could get a small or maybe even an extra small in essentials. So if you are ordering, just make sure that you know that their stuff runs big. So 
I have three of these crop t-shirts from H&M. So this is the first one I'm going to show you guys, which is the gray one that I got. I got this in a size medium, and this was $6, okay? got this because I, you really can't go wrong with getting basic things like i said the more basic stuff you have in the closet the better you can wear it with so many different things six dollars from h m super comfortable the quality is good surprisingly for it to be six dollars y'all like yeah i haven't worn this yet but i wore the black one which i can insert pictures of how i styled that one but i have it in black i have it in this tan color and yeah, I thought they were super cute. Like, the way it fits on is also very flattering. Like, I don't know. I just really love the way it looks, honestly. Like I said, I went to Georgetown in D.C. And I got this from Urban Outfitters. But I also went to this store called Atmos. And Atmos is one of my favorite stores. If you guys are in D.C., you need to go to this store. They have Yeezys in there. They have just really cool, unique pieces. Just to go in there, I didn't really think I was going to buy anything. It looks like a basic Nike t-shirt, but it actually is a collab with Billie Eilish. So I didn't even know it was a collab with Billie Eilish at first because I just liked the way the check was placed on the shirt. I thought it was unique and I've never seen Nike do this before. But the bottom, so Billie Eilish is at the bottom of the shirt on the back, as you guys can see. So I knew the Billie Eilish um, collab with Nike was coming out, but... I didn't know, like, I didn't, I, I honestly wasn't planning on ordering it just because I know, like, stuff sells out. I didn't know if I was going to get it. So when I seen it at Atmos, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I missed the release online, so I, at least I can get the t-shirt here. My mom, she actually ordered the same exact t-shirt, and I didn't know, and she also got the shoes for me. I don't have the shoes with me right now, but I can um, put a picture on the screen so you guys can see how the shoes look. And they're super different, and I already know like they're gonna be super cute when I actually put a fit together with it. But I got the shoes as well. Look at this. She had one job. Why is this still up there? Because now I gotta go back to Georgetown and get her to take this off. The next thing I want to show you guys is this top that I got from Zara. It's not really from Zara. Actually, I got it from TJ Maxx. But if you guys really shop in like TJ Maxx, Marshalls stores like that you can find higher end things you just have to look um so i went in tj maxx and i seen one zara shirt and that led to me like flipping through the racks and i seen a whole bunch more so this is the first zara shirt that i got um this was how much was this this was ten dollars and you know at zara this would have been way more than ten dollars yeah it's like this sweater material but Obviously, it's sleeveless. You can wear it in the springtime. So. Like a little um, cinching at the bottom as well. I got one more shirt from TJ Maxx, and it is also a Zara shirt that they had in there. This was $10 as well, size medium, and this is what it looks like. It's like the shoulder pads on this as well. So it has like padding right here. So I feel like I can style this really well. Like I feel like it, I can make this casual but still like i put effort in just because it looks slightly dressy with the um padding but you don't have to make it dressy like i'm gonna wear this probably with like jeans or shorts is this puffer coat or not even a puffer coat this is a puffer vest this is also from zara if you can't tell i love zara but this is actually from zara this isn't from tj maxx i only had like two left so i had to get it i got this in a size large but yeah, this is cute. I just gotta figure out how to style it. I wore it once, but I don't really, I don't really know. Like, I don't think the outfit turned out that good. Like as I pictured in my head, this is good quality. I think this was about fifty dollars. Super cute. Had to get it. I don't know if I will wear it with this. Like a, I don't know. I don't know. I just gotta see how I want to style it. Figure out what shirt I want to go under it. You know, so now we can move on to pants and shorts and stuff like that. I don't even think I got my shorts with me. Um, so I guess I can talk about the essential shorts that I got. Um, I got that at the same time I got the t-shirt that I showed you guys, but it's not here with me right now. So I'll just insert the pair that I got. Um, but the next um, pair of bottoms I want to show you guys are these jeans that I'm wearing. And I actually have them on now. And these are jeans from top shop they're like mom jeans next pair of jeans i got from h&m and y'all these are my favorite jeans like they fit perfectly like i was looking for a pair of jeans like this like the boyfriend jeans but they would be like too short or they just wouldn't look right 
but these are like the perfect blend, the perfect like amount of baggy and everything. Like I, I love these jeans. Like I'm honestly, I need to buy another pair because that's how much I love them. US six and they're just super cute, y'all. Um, I can also insert pictures of me wearing them. Um, because I wore it with that Aaliyah shirt that I was showing you guys. But the first pair of cargos I've got are from this site that I can't pronounce, but I'll put it on the screen and down below. Um, it's, it's like man of, I, I, I can't even pronounce it. I'm not even gonna try to mess it up. Y'all, these are like so bomb. Like, so remember when I was saying like I like basics? I like different stuff too, but if I do something like this, this is going to be the main event of the outfit. I'll wear it with like something plain. I actually wore these pants with this black H&M crop top. So yeah, but I got these in a size, what size did I get these in? I'm not even completely sure. Okay, now I got this in a US 8. And they just have like the strings. And I want to say these were about $100. So they were a little bit pricey, but I honestly think they were worth it just because not that many people have these and I don't know, they're like comfortable and different. So are from Urban Outfitters um, and these are actually out of the men's section. These are uh, medium and they're like this light gray color. Again, I'm gonna link everything down below. They have pockets. My favorite part of wearing cargos, I swear, like the pockets and they're pretty deep. So like you can put you know, your um, phone in here, you can put anything like keys, AirPods, cards, cash. Like I, that's the one thing I love about having cargos because sometimes like my purse is too small to fit everything. And I have a big phone, so like my phone does not fit in my Telfar bags and stuff like that. Speaking of bags, I'm gonna move on to accessories now. I'm gonna show you guys this beautiful bag that I love. This is a bag that I got a lot of questions about. I'll let you guys know that it's from Source Unknown and it's this crochet bag. I love it. Um, this is what it looks like up close. Remember I was saying you can't fit everything in like small bags. So that's why I love cargos. This was a small bag that I was talking about. You cannot fit nothing in this. This is literally just for a picture of a look because I can't carry all the stuff I need to carry in this. This is honest. This is the dust bag y'all. This is how it really comes. Like, just like this. But I actually put the dust bag inside of the bag so that my stuff wouldn't come out through the holes. Still look cute with the dust bag inside, so. First pair I want to show you guys are these. And I got these from Urban Outfitters the same time I got this shirt. Um, I want to say these are like $20. This is how they look on. I thought they were cute. Um, I don't own any red sunglasses, so I had to get these. Or you could wear them on top of your head which is something that i always do these shades from desi um i think she is she's a youtuber as well and she recently put out a sunglass line but these are what they look like y'all i love these so much I told you guys like i wear um streetwear and just casual clothes so like i feel like these shades really match my vibe and just like what i wear that's how they look super cute and these are called the backtrack shades and i believe these were about 80 90 dollars they say desi in the inside and they say backtrack as well the last pair of sunglasses i want to show you guys are these these are Givenchy shades and i didn't pay the full price for these guys i know shades are really expensive but i didn't pay the full price because I got them from Nordstrom Rack. So if you guys didn't know, Nordstrom carries a whole bunch of designer shades in there. Um, so I was in there and I seen these and I had to get them. They have Givenchy on the side and on the other side and I really just love it. So they're straight across and I really think they're like super bomb, but I never seen shades with that. Originally these are like $400, but I got them for about $100 at Nordstrom Rack. So if you want designer shades, but you don't want to pay the full price, go to Nordstrom Rack. I'm telling you guys, they have Givenchy, Prada, Tom Ford, like literally everything in there, Gucci. Um, I think the reason that they're just so cheap is maybe because they came out like, they're like old or like not the new shades that they released this season. But I personally don't care because some looks good. I don't care if it came out five years ago. I'm gonna still wear it. Like at Nordstrom Rack, they give you the case too. So just because you're not paying like the original 400 dollars 
doesn't mean that you still don't get like the nice case. Cause when she got, the, when she brought this case out, I was like, ooh, got the case too. And yeah, and it comes with the, comes with this too. But I get a lot of my jewelry from Amazon. These are just a couple of rings that I got from Amazon. Um, love them. One that I always get questions about is this A ring that I'm putting on right now. So this is this A ring I got from Amazon. I forgot how much this was, but you know, it wasn't that much. And I just love it. So I put this on my thumb. You got A for Arion. Yeah, A for Aaliyah, that's my middle name. But yeah, um, but this bracelet is also from Amazon. And this has not tarnished. I had this for a minute, like it's still, it still looks nice. So the last thing I'm gonna show you guys are just a few pair of shoes that I've picked up recently. Um, I'll start with the most um, newest pair that I've got. I wore these about one time. These are the Nike Correlates and super cute. I haven't seen anybody with them, so it made me want to get them even more. I just love the whole colorway of it. I love how it's black, but it has like the pops of orange and teal. Um, they're comfortable. They're cute. They're inexpensive. These were like $80. You can't beat that especially with shoes nowadays being like so much money especially like if you don't get them retail and i wore it with this bag um i just thought it was cute so like you like you see the orange right here so i just tied that back in with the bag if you know me i'm always here for a chill fit for something that makes it slightly different just because i can't be walking around basic like i, I gotta i gotta throw in something that people you know what i'm saying don't got because anybody can wear a white tee but i haven't seen nobody with this bag and i haven't seen nobody with these shoes but i'm putting y'all on so if you want this bag or you want these shoes just click the links down below because y'all 80 dollars. and how much was this bag this bag was about 40 and i know it's a little bit pricey for a bag that i probably could have got my grandma to make but i don't know it's cute people was asking me if i made this and i wish i could make this because i honestly if i could i would have made it are these dunks and these are the navy blue dunks. Um, yeah, so I've been wearing these recently. Hopefully they don't crease. I already see a little bit of creasing in them, um, which is why I can't bring myself to buy dunks um, on GOAT or StockX just because like they crease so fast. So I got these dunks and yeah, I just love these shoes. I don't know, everybody's been into like the ones, the Jordan ones lately in the dunks. And I have two, but I feel like more people have been wearing the low top dunks than the high top. So I got high top dunks and I love it. These Air Forces, they're like this. Super cool. Love them. They actually came with pins, as you guys can see. So I stuck the little Nike check right here and I stuck the die right there. The little chain on the front. Super cool. It's like this peachy nude color. I don't know. It's just, it's nice. My brother actually got these for me. And I also put this yin yang symbol up here. Okay. The last thing. Alright, so the last thing I want to show you guys is this. And this is another pair of shoes that I got. Um, what are these called? These are like the waffles, but I'm not sure the full name of them. I'm gonna put it on the screen or whatever or down below, but I got these, um, it's like hair on it, but super cute, comfortable, has the Nike check in this burgundy color. Love it. Wait, I wanna mention one more pair of shoes that I got. A lot of people actually might not be fans of these. These are the Space Hippies, but I actually like them a lot. And I haven't seen that many people wearing them. Um, like I said, I don't think that many people like them, but y'all, I like them. And these are like one of the, I'm not even gonna say one of, these are the comfiest pairs of shoes that I have in my closet. I'm not even exaggerating. Like you, if you put these on, you will feel like you are walking on clouds. And I'm not exaggerating. That's the thing. Like, it sounds like I am, but I'm not. These are so comfortable. Like, if I know I gotta do a lot of walking, I'm gonna throw these on, but I love them so much. And again, all these shoes that I've just showed you guys are probably no more than $100. I think the Dunks might be a little bit more, but you know, everything else from Nike is probably like under 100. These bots, I'm telling you, man, like I cannot get shoes. Like in middle school, 
in high school I used to be able to get any shoe I want, but nowadays it's like I can't get no shoes I want. So I gotta I gotta get the Nikes and stuff like that. You know, real chill. That is everything that I want to show you guys in this video. I didn't finish spring shopping. I probably could go shopping more um, if I didn't spend all my freaking money on a $400 Chris Brown ticket. Um, if you didn't know, Chris Brown and Lil Baby are going on tour and I, I, had to, I had to see them. So I bought a ticket, so I'm going to have to chill out a little bit and not buy no clothes. But yeah, these are just some of the things that I got for the springtime, summertime. And I just wanted to show you guys and give you guys some inspiration. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the links down below so you guys can shop everything. Or if you wanted something that you're seeing in this video, it's going to be down there. I'm out of breath. It's probably because I'm talking so much. I'm like, let comments go. Look at the comment section and look at the description. <sighs> thank you. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video.